In this video, we will learn about what is common an effect and how it changes the pH of a solution. So, we will just learn what is this common an effect before we will know the effect of it. Let's consider the ionization of acetic acid and it can be written uh, as acetic acid giving acetate and the hydrogen ion and the Ka of acetic acid is also given. Now, to the same solution, add some sodium acetate. Sodium acetate will ionize completely and it will give me the acetate ion and the Na+. Sodium acetate is the conjugate base of the weak acid, acetic acid. So, it will ionize completely and giving me acetate ion. This acetate, if you look at the equilibrium equation I have written, the, is increasing the concentration of acetate ion. So, therefore, if I apply leave charlier's principle, I am increasing a product. Therefore, the reaction will shift towards the left or it will go towards acetic acid and hydrogen ion concentration decreases and it decreases the ionization of acetic acid. Since the hydrogen ion concentration decreases, pH increases. Therefore, in any common ion effect, uh, we can say that it decreases the ionization of an acid. We will do the first question on common ion effect. Calculate the pH of a solution made from 0 0.20 molar acetic acid and 0 0.10 molar sodium acetate, Ka of acetic acid is given. So, as usual, write the equation. We have two equations here, one for sodium acetate and uh, the concentrations are given there. It ionizes completely, therefore the concentration of acetate is same as concentration of sodium acetate. And the ionization of acetic acid is given, it's a weak acid, therefore we have set up the ice box. So, if you notice in the ice box, the initial concentration of acetic acid is 0 0.20 and we do have a 0 0.10 as the concentration of acetate, CST-COO- which has come from the sodium acetate and the concentration of hydrogen ion is 0. Now, if I set up the ice table and uh, the fin final equilibrium concentrations of acetic acid, acetate and hydrogens are given there and substituted into the Ka equation and I calculate the value of X, that's the concentration of hydrogen ions and I get the value of pH as 4.4. Now, let us just for uh, comparison purpose see if sodium acetate was not there, what would have been the pH of this solution. So, starting with 1.8 into the power of minus 5, the KH, Ka of acetic acid and um, x square will be, I will get the x square as the concentration of acetate and hydrogen ion. The concentration of acetic acid is written there and I get the pH is 2.7. So, quite obviously, we can see that the hydrogen ion, the pH in, uh, indicates that the hydrogen ion concentration is decreased due to the addition of acetate into a solution of acetic acid. Now, let us do a question in which a base is involved. Calculate the pH of a solution made from 0 0.20 molar ammonium hydroxide and I add 0 0.10 molar ammonium chloride into it and the Kb of ammonium hydroxide is given. Similar to the previous equation, write the equation for ammonium chloride and the concentrations of ammonia, uh, ammonium ions and chloride ions and the ammonium chloride are given there and uh, set up the equilibrium equation for ammonium hydroxide. And here you notice that in the ice table, in case of uh, ammonium ions, I am starting with 0 0.10, that is contribution from the ammonium chloride. And after I set up the ice table and substitute it into the Kb equation, and uh, calculate here it is the hydroxide ion which is coming, therefore you will get POH, and then from the POH you will get pH, and that comes as 9.6 just like the previous case. Let us see what happens if I have only ammonium hydroxide and you can see that when I have only ammonium hydroxide, the concentration of hydroxide ion is more and therefore hence the pH is also more. So, just to finish off, let us calculate the pH of a solution made from 0.2 molar HF and 0.10 molar sodium fluoride. The Kb of ammonium hydroxide is given. So, let us start with the equation, the ionization of sodium fluoride. The concentrations of sodium fluoride, fluoride and sodium ions are also given there. And the equilibrium reaction of HF is also given there. Construct the ice table and put in all the, substitute all the values. 
into the Ka equation and calculate the value of x and from the value of x calculate the value of pH. Now let's just calculate what happens when only have HF and uh, when you have only HF the pH is you could see that it is lower than what you got in the previous case when uh, we have sodium fluoride added into it and it's quite obvious that you know that the addition of a common ion decreases the hydrogen ion concentration and hence increases the pH.